For a significant portion of the season, the Pramac rider was in dominant form, especially in the second half when he collected 10 of his 13 victories, which included sprint races in the MotoGP. In reality, Martin seized the lead in the series for the first time in his career after winning the Mandalika sprint, but he lost it the next day when he crashed out of the lead in the race. Welcome to Bike GP. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for more updates. Martin, who feels he lost the title as a result of that error, is still troubled by that race. In the last few races, the pressure was through the roof, and whatever went wrong, I was on them, the team, Martin stated in an interview with the Spanish television network Antenna 3. It wasn't a joyful time, and the team could sense my anxiety. I realized that mentality was unworkable. It was a crucial lesson. I don't believe Valencia cost me the title. The race situation in Indonesia continues to pain me. I had a three-second lead, and I could have won the world title if that had happened. I failed, because I wanted to, in a sense, shame my opponents, and I felt so superior at that particular moment. I discovered that if you win a race by one or two tenths of a second, the points stay the same. Even though Martin was a member of the Ducati family, he was obviously not going to let Bagnaya and the factory team take second place. Speaking about his interactions with other riders, Martin stated that, in terms of their racing style, just one other rider differs from him. I only really get on with a leash, Espergro, Martin declared. We have a bond that is nearly fraternal. I've been in his care since I was 16. I don't act like friends with the others because they are my competitors. Even though I'm the first to never back down from a challenge, I'm still respectful of a leash since we are risking our lives in this deadly sport. It's not the same to overcome him as it is to overtake others. I'm going to go full throttle. Francesco Bagnaia, a two-time MotoGP winner, says he feels great on Ducati's newest vehicle right now. At the Valencia test on Tuesday, Bagnaia made his debut on Ducati's GP24 bike, and he was quick to impress. The Italian, who had won his second MotoGP championship two days before the test, will face more formidable opposition from Ducati riders in 2024, with Marc Marquez joining Grassini. However, the current world champion continues to want to improve himself as he works to iron out minor issues before the next test in Sapong. Regarding the new bike, Bagnaia said, I can be happy, we can be happy, Ducati can be happy. This, in my opinion, is the ideal approach to get started. The new engine is operating smoothly, and the feeling was positive. Undoubtedly, there is still need for improvement, but for now, I'm content. I feel fantastic, and I already feel better than I did a year ago in several areas. This is really wonderful there is still much room for improvement. The new bike was also obtained by Enea Bastianini and Jorge Martin, who crashed twice, the former of the three finishing fastest. However, Bagnaia never launched a time attack, opting instead to stop the test early after an extremely hectic weekend. Although there were many benefits to testing the new bike, Bagnaia did highlight certain shortcomings. Bagnaia stated, We need to enhance the power delivery and the entry to the corners a little bit, it must be a little bit more connected and accelerate more. What are your thoughts? Let us know in the comment down below and don't forget to like and subscribe for new upcoming videos of MotoGP. Thanks for watching.